Hey, are you looking for the combination valve on this truck? You won't find it. They don't use this anymore on most of our new vehicles. What used to be was a spring operated device, much like the, well here, this is the most recognizable one right here. We call this the combination valve. I'm talking about controlling pressure to the back brakes. Uh, this was the standard way to do it well more than 15 years ago and what they did here was that this was a combination valve this had the metering valve in the front that that actually held off pressure to the front brakes till the back brakes got some some pressure going then it also had the 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 safety switch here the self the centering switch where there's a difference in pressure in the front and rear the light would come on so if you blew a brake line or brake hose and also then it had in the back here the proportioning part so this is typically called a combination valve but a lot of people call it a proportioning valve but the proportioning valve was back here and that proportion is just a spring an inline spring that limits the pressure to the back brakes now the manufacturers started getting a little fancy here after a while because this was a set value this was maybe 400 psi allowed to the back brakes but on trucks sometimes the truck is empty and sometimes the truck is full of dirt or gravel or pulling a trailer then you want more pressure to the back brakes so some manufacturers got kind of fancy here and put a mechanism like this where and they tied it up to the axle in the back and it actually would control by moving this back and forth it would actually control the pressure to the back brakes by by moving this arm back and forth now this worked great when it was brand new but you put a few miles and a few years of winter use on our trucks and they didn't last very long. So then you're wondering, well, how are we controlling the back pressure to the brakes here on this particular vehicle? Well, anything built after 99-2000 may have what they call dynamic rear proportioning. Now, dynamic rear proportioning uses the ABS system. And the ABS system actually is looking at the wheel speed sensors front and rear. Now, you know the ABS when I lock up the brakes, the ABS is what actually modulates the pressure to the brake that's locked up. But I'm talking about the ABS unit also controlling the pressure to the back brakes on almost all of our vehicles today, trucks and cars. So what it does, it looks at the wheel speed sensor information. If it sees the back axle doing too much work, it'll actually limit the pressure to the back brakes using the valves inside the ABS unit. It'll actually modulate the pressure to the rear isolation valve, lowering the pressure to the rear brakes. That's what controls the amount of pressure going to our rear brakes. If there's a failure in the ABS unit, it'll default to full pressure to the back brakes and your car or truck will lock up the brakes every stop.